Dear students, in today's lecture, let us make an attempt to know about social insects. Introduction. Social insects are living in groups, interact with one another between their own species. They live in a colony with well-defined caste system, division of labor along with overlap of generations. Thus, each colony includes hundreds, thousands or even millions of its brothers and sisters with a single queen and more than single male. Thus, sociality is common among social insects. Entomologists define eusociality by three traits, namely division of labor with a caste system involving sterile individuals, example sterile female workers, cooperation among colony members and overlap of generation capable of contributing the colony functioning. Social insects are confined to the order Hymenoptera and Isoptera of the class Insecta. Interestingly, all members of the order Isoptera are social insects. However, among Hymenopterans, Formicidae family members, example ants, few species of the family Vespidae, example wasps and ornates, and all Epidae family members, example honeybees, bumblebee and stingless bees, exhibit eusocial behavior. However, the level of sociality among these groups of insects varies with specific adaptations that promote survival and reproductive success of the species. Thus, in order to qualify as eusocial, a species must exhibit social behavior and the society should have a common nest or colony, overlap of generation, division of labor, well-defined caste system, cooperative rearing activity, cooperative foraging or hunting, cooperative defense against predators or enemies and swarming. Now, we will try to understand the details of all these characteristics in the subsequent paragraphs. First, sharing a common nest. Social insects live in a colony or nest or hive that includes several million individuals which share a common nest made of various materials. The nest is constructed in the soil or dead wood or leaves with the saliva to form a paper like material that is molded into brood cells and other nest compartments. Overlap of generation. Social insects live in societies have haploid form of reproduction where males are haploid and females are deployed with sterile workers. Female queen of the colony lay more than 5000 eggs per day. Hence, she is the egg laying machine in the colony because of her amazing task of egg production. Overlap of many generations is a common scene in the colony of social insects. Division of labor. Among social insects, division of labor seems to be one of the key factors for their successful survival in diversified habitats. It is well established among worker caste and performed as per the age and need of the colony. Workers are sterile females, attend different tasks namely cleaning of brood cells, keeping the nest warm, nursing the developing brood, feeding the young and older larvae during their young age. While as they ages and become adult, workers attend the duty of feeding the queen, guard the comb and will go out of the colony for collecting food. However, in some species, example termites, soldier that is a sterile male guard the colony. Caste system. There is a well defined caste system exists in the colony of social insects namely the reproductive and non-reproductive castes. Female insect is called queen while male is known as king or drone. The queen and king is called a royal couple of the colony and involved in reproduction. King or drones do not attend any job in the colony. Hence, they are called lethargic individuals of the colony. The non-reproductive caste includes thousands and thousands of sterile workers and soldiers perform all the duties except reproduction. Cooperative rearing. It is called alloparental care where individuals provide parental care to developing brood and larvae that are not their direct descendants. The non-breeding individuals cooperate to colony development and this is attributed primarily to kin selection. Newly 
emerged young workers example anibis helped to maintain the nest warm and involved in feeding and rearing developing young ones cooperative foraging and hunting cooperative hunting has been linked to the social organization of species the foragers will go out of the colony and collect that is pollen and nectar propalis and water while gathering the food few species example anibis perform unique dancing behavior to inform among the nest mates about distance direction source and abundance of food cooperative defense social insects communicate by touch visual tactile sound or chemical means accordingly they respond to various instincts as alarm attraction grooming and exchange of food and recognition certain social insects example anibis release chemical substance that is isoamyl acetate during disturbance or injured conditions that trigger cooperative defense against predators enemies and pests further workers equipped with a defending weapon called venomous stinging organ used as weapon on intruder attack enmos thereby attack and deter even large vertebrates swarming it is a process of formation of new colonies by fission or splitting in which a fertile queen and a group of workers leave a large parent nest in tropical climates it is mainly a spring phenomenon for few species example anibis but for social wasps colony is formed in early spring after prolonged hibernation during winter however for others occasional swarms can happen throughout the year usually within a 2 or 3 week period depending on the ecosystem in anibis it is a process of natural means of reproduction that leads to formation of two or more new colonies it occurs when the newly emerged queen bee or old queen bee leaves the colony with a large group of worker bees hymenoptera hymenopterans are most advanced and highly specialized social insects they show complex behavior patterns considered to be the insects of greatest benefit to mankind bees wasps and ants are most important groups in this order they live in societies with well defined caste system they are nectar or honey dew feeding insects play a pivotal role in the cross pollination of flowering plants hymenopterans society is based predominantly on female that is queen eplodiploid sex determination with males resulting from parthenogenesis and characterized by legless larvae fed at least once a day by the adults wilson 1971 honeybees honeybees are successful flying creatures on this planet earth they are more than 20000 bee species known around the globe of all around 11 apis species are known at different parts of the world Among them Apis mellifera is most familiar around the globe few bee species produce honey on large scale perhaps the name honey bee might have came into existence because of this region in india five honey bee species are distributed at different regions namely himalayan honey bee apis laboriosa gaint honey bee apis dorsata dwarf honey bee apis floria indian honey bee apis cirana and italian anibi apis mellifera the apis laboriosa apis dorsata and apis floria are called wild anibis because they prefer to survive in the wild whereas the apis cirana and apis mellifera are well adjusted to human captivity conditions that is in apiary that is bee keeping form and are known as domesticated anibis however stingless bees are highly social with well differentiated queens and workers and a communication system comparable to that of honey bees example melipona and trigona species however in contrast to apis a young queen and attendants form a new nest the old queen being too large and heavy to fly cannot have to a new site as occurs in apis Anibis possess a well organized community for the benefit of all individuals in a colony 
the colony's survival is depended on well developed caste system that cooperates in reproduction and colony tasks moreover temporal castes are strongly developed in anibis and they show much organized complex societies that can be compared to the society of primates including man female anibi is called queen while male anibi is known as drone the queen and drone are called royal pair of the colony the queen duty is to lay more number of eggs and she can lay minimum 1500 to more than 5000 eggs per day hence she is the egg laying machine in the colony she maintains stability in the colony and looks after all the activities by specific instincts and reflexes however drones are present only at certain times to mate with queen but they do not attend any job in the colony hence drones are called lethargic individuals of the colony the workers that is sterile females perform all the duties except reproduction they construct nest with the help of wax produced by their abdominal wax glands nesting site is ubiquitous and nesting orientation is directly correlated with the prevailed climatic conditions anibis nest on the eaves of huge building surfaces or branches example apis dorsata in the bushy vegetation or on small tree twigs example apis floria in the crevices example apis cirana and apis mellifera anibis have their own device to control nest temperature humidity and hygienic conditions within the nest b dance anibis use the sun and polarization light for orientation during foraging activities during collection of food they perform unique behavior called b dance and it is commonly called b language the round dance and waggle dance are more common and by which foraging bees inform to the nest mates about distance direction source and abundance of food if the foraging bees perform strong vigorous dances that reveals the food source is near and abundance a weak dance elicit little response thus anibis perform different types of dances to communicate food source carl von frisch in 1973 discovered the bead language and for this novel work he was rewarded by nobel prize however stingless bees example melipona and trigona species leave a scent trail to assist nest mates in locating food elging 1978 larval anibis develop in wax cells larvae are fed with workers jelly a minute secretion of hypoparenchyal gland mixed with mandibular gland secretions of ani after 3 days bee bread ani mixed with pollen is fed to the larvae finally they develop into sterile females called workers newly emerged worker bees attend various tasks however to produce queen the royal jelly a substance that has high amount of hypoparenchyal secretions must be fed continually to female larvae after 16 days of development the first queen emerges and the other queen pupae are systematically destroyed if two queens emerge at the same time a battle ensues until only one survives swarming occurs due to death or departure of the old queen or the new queen winner of the battle that is young queen then takes a nuptial flight with drones then mates and return to propagate the colony approximately 1000 eggs must be oviposited per day to maintain a large colony new colonies originate when a queen leaves with a swarm of up to 30000 workers however queen cannot survive alone scout bees locate a new site elginga 1978 bumblebees these are large hairy bees show primitive social organization they do not construct a true comb and new nests are produced annually the workers differ from the queen only in size example pisithyrus species cuckoo bumblebees etc the caste determination appears to be based on food supply and the queen's aggressive behavior they have no system for communicating information about food location to other members of the hive the workers lay eggs these develop into males or drones by parthenogenesis 
wasps. Family Waspidae includes about 4000 species of wasps. Among them social wasps or paper wasps. They belong to subfamily Polystinae, yellow wasps and hornets. They belong to subfamily Vespinae. In social wasps, castes become distinct. Only one queen is present per nest and she is larger than her daughters called workers. Social wasps build annual or perennial nests of paper, masticated wood fragments mixed with saliva, usually comprising a single comb. They construct aerial nest made up of many layers of multi-celled combs, each suspended under the preceding one by means of either stems or fastened to the lateral envelope or covering. In each nest, one or more entrances are constructed and guarded by workers. Covered nests protect larvae and pupae from direct exposure to sunlight and help to maintain a relatively uniform environment. Each colony is founded by one queen and several fertile females which become workers. Moreover, workers are morphologically distinct from the queen. Usually nests are multi-combed and include several thousands individuals. Many species are beneficial to man because they are major natural control agents on population of pest insects. Social wasps feed their young daily. Food consists mainly of pellets of masticated prey that is insects or dead material. However, adult feed on nectar the prey fluids when they chew the larvae for their young one. Sometimes cannibalism may also occur. Workers receive watery secretions from the larvae that is tropalaxis which probably aids in maintaining the social structure of the colony. After several weeks of growth, the larvae spins a silken cap over the cell, pupates from 3 to 4 weeks and then emerge as an adult. Colonies may be founded by a single queen or by swarming. Queen selects nesting sites, begins nest construction, forages and cares for the young until they reach adulthood as workers. During swarming, a queen and a group of workers desert the nest, example Vespa Singta and Polybine Wasp etc. Ants Ants belong to Formicidae family that includes 9000 to 15000 described species. Ants are social whose colony have different forms of workers, one to several queens and seasonally produced few numbers of males live in a common nest. All individuals are aterous except for a short period of before swarming. They are most ecologically diverse group among all social insects known for their life history, feeding strategies, specialized adaptations with monogyny or polygyny. They live in a colony which has interconnecting chambers and tunnels constructed above the ground in shrubs, trees or deadwood. Some species nest inside man-made structures. Few species build elaborate underground nest that may reach depths of 6 feet or more. Thus, nests of ants vary greatly. In Orvester ants, nest consists of a gravel mound that provides good water drainage. The leaf cutter ants have massive nests of over 20 feet that is 6.1 meter in diameter that have multiple openings and that descend over 10 feet that is 3.05 meter in depth. Some ants become arboreal and entire colony live in hollow twigs or thorns often resulting in protection for the plant example myrmecopite ants. Types of ants Army ants, these are called nomadic ants, they are carnivorous. Harvester ants, these are pitophagus, collect seeds which they store in the nest. They found in southwestern United States. Honey pot ants, these are called honey ants, feed on honeydew. They have a distinct form of worker, the replete serves as a living bottle in which food is stored and spends most of its life in the nest itself. Slave maker ants, these capture workers of other species, these then perform the domestic duties within the colony. Formica essenesis in Japan, gained eusocial group live with 45,000 interconnecting nests 
contained more than a million queens and 306 million workers within an area of 2.7 square kilometer. Leaf cutter ants, these are found in South America, example Atta species. Driver ants, these are found in African savanna. Similarly, the weaver ants, carpenter ants, thief ants, fire ants and arboreal ants, example Crematogaster species. Caste system in ants colony. Ants have great diversity in the size and shapes of the workers caste. Accordingly, workers are grouped into minor workers and major workers. Minor workers attend the typical worker activities. Major workers attend defense and protect the colony with the help of their odd flattened heads and long piercing mandibles. The reproductive caste have wings. They leave the nest during swarming. Mating occurs between the reproductives of other nests. After mating, males die. Females lose their wings and seek suitable place for nesting and starts egg-laying, that is oviposition. Hatched larvae are fed saliva from queen. Fully grown larvae then pupate and it is naked. Isopterans. Isopterans are unique among social insects, live in most advanced societies. They are commonly called white ants or termites. More than 2,800 termite species are so far recognized. They show specialized social structure that never exposed to the outside environment. They live in colonies with several hundred to millions of individuals and form a well-managed society. A colony contains nymphs, that is immature young ones, workers, soldiers, king and a queen. Termites are eusocial insects living in a big colony that includes thousands to millions of individuals. Termites colony consists of a queen that is female, one or two king that is males, workers that is sterile females and soldiers that is sterile males, each playing a specific role that ensures safe survival of the colony. Among all these individuals, only the king and queen have the ability to reproduce and produce young ones. In a single colony, several hundred to several million individuals live together. Example, white ants, termites in tropical countries and subterranean termites in North America, Europe and Australia. Colony is constructed by the joint effort of both a reproductive male that is king and a female that is queen. During swarming, winged reproductive swarm conduct a dispersal flight and form copularium called nuptial flight and mate in the air then shed their wings and proceeds to locate a suitable nest site. After several weeks to a month, more eggs are laid by the queen. Meanwhile, the queen greatly enlarge her abdomen, become physiogastric and into an egg laying machine. Eggs hatch into nymphs and develop into sterile workers or soldiers. During early stages, the colony is with few hundreds of individuals and gradually the colony becomes immense with millions of individuals as it ages. The proper balance of castes, namely workers and soldiers are maintained by the influence of pheromones. The royal pair produces the social hormones and transferred throughout the colony by fecal trophallaxis that inhibits the production of secondary reproductives from pseudograids, example dry wood termites. Termite mount. Termites construct nests of varying size and shapes in soil or on the surface of soil which may extend upward 20 feet and measures 12 feet diameter. Termite nest is called a termitarium or termite mound that house all the colony members. Nest is commonly built underground or in large pieces of timber or inside fallen trees or atop living trees. Some species build nests above the ground. It is an elaborate structure made of mud, chewed mud or cellulose, saliva and fecus. It is punctuated by a number of tunnels like galleries which maintain conditioned airflow and control carbon dioxide and oxygen balance thereby extending a protected living space and water conservation through controlled condensation. It also controls water loss, maintain adequate ventilation and temperature regulation inside the colony. 
there are nursery chambers deep within the nest where eggs and first instar larvae are reared. Further, termites maintain fungus garden that is fed on collected plant matter providing a nutritious mycelium on which the colony then feeds. Termites avoid predators enemies during foraging by covering their trails with tubing made of ficus, plant matter, saliva and soil. By doing so, termites can remain hidden and overcome inclement weather conditions also. Sometimes these shelter tubes will extend for many meters such as up the outside of a tree reaching from the soil to dead branches. Worker termite. Worker termites attend various tasks in a colony, the food collection, food storage, caring brood, nursing the developing young ones, nest building and maintenance of nest are some of the important duties performed by worker termites. Workers feed the soldiers and early instars nymphs by tropalaxis. Reproductives receives salivary secretions. Soldiers. Soldiers are sterile males protect the colony from enemies. They have well developed mandibles in the head and used as defending weapons against any intruder or enemy's attack to the colony. During the course of defending, they sacrifice their life. Further, termites or cellulose eaters feed on cellulose content of various plant products, leaf, litter, wood, humus and paper. Termites feed through underground tunnels which are formed from cementing soil and wood particles with intestinal secretions and saliva. Workers digest cellulose with the help of gut flora that is flagellates protists which secretes cellulose enzyme. Uses of social insects. Social insects have both advantages and disadvantages. Few social insects ex example honeybees are valuable assets to the nature as well as to man. Their hive products such as honey, pollen, wax, propolis, queen, substance and venom are economically important and extensively used by man since prehistoric times. Honey is used by all people irrespective of age, sex, caste and creed. Honey act as energizer and provide immediate source of energy. In the name of apiary that is beekeeping, man is culturing honeybees for his personal advantage. Venom of honeybee is used in epitherapy clinics in China, Japan and in some parts of northeastern India. Wasps act as biocontrolling agents, feed on lepidopteran larvae which act as pests of various cereals and pulses. In this way, wasps help control the pest population, cultivable land and avoid economic loss to man. Ecologically, termites play a pivotal role in the environment while breakdown and recycle deadwood and other plant tissues. Conclusion Social insects live together with morphologically different castes, example workers, soldiers, reproductives, which are specialized for various functions. They have overlap of generation that results increased population in the colony. Social insects have well defined division of labor among different castes construct a suitable nest that can moderate environmental conditions by providing suitable living space for all the individuals in the colony. Thus, social plasticity is the property of a species that enables to interact with the individuals of its own species and helps survive under same roof of a nest by following certain unique characters for safe survival.